And we are live. At least we should be live. Are we live? We should be live. Can you see me, guys? Right. So... Yeah, everything seems to be working fine. Uh, how's the audio? How's the music and the audio? Is it too loud? There's a bit of a delay in the stream, so I'm actually waiting for your comments here. Yeah, cool. So everything seems to be working fine. So yeah, welcome to the live stream, everyone. Uh, this is the first, well, actually the second Zenof Tech live stream, public live stream. I've done one in 2014, fun fact. And it was a live stream on the Apple event. So I was covering the Apple event while it was going and I got a strike for that. So that was actually the first strike that I got. Fun fact from Apple. Um, and then I stopped doing live streams. Hey guys. Hello, India. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. Yeah, so essentially I started, I started doing the, um, you know, the memberships about two months ago. So you can tap the join button and you, pe you can become a member and you get some exclusive perks. So I was thinking exactly what perks to give you guys. And that's when I um, decided to give you guys a live stream just for members. So I did that um, two months ago and <laughs> it didn't go so well. As in, there wasn't that much interaction, so I just changed that to, you know, public live stream so that ev everyone can join. And members still get priority comments, so if there's any members... Um, if there's any members in in the chat, those should be pinned, those comments. What is your fi favorite iPhone XR color? Um, so to be honest, I actually got the iPhone XR in blue which is this one right here. I've done a video on this um, two days ago. I've been to, be, to the Apple store. I've seen all of them uh, in person. The red one looks really sick. Yeah, so so the red 10R looks, looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'll go with the blue one. What motivated to start your channel? Um, so I was always into tech. Ever since I was I was really young, I was always really really into tech. So I was the guy that everyone asked uh, when they wanted to know a few things about smartphones, computer parts, and that kind of stuff. Like my family and my friends, and I just wanted to start sort of like a private uh, album on YouTube, if you know what I mean. So I just uploaded. I started uploading videos, and then I would share those with my family and my friends, and uh, that was the initial thought iPhone 10R memory, four gigabytes or three, um, three gigabytes of RAM. What's your, Alan asks, what's your daily driver now since all of the new phones have come out? So now I'm using the iPhone 10s Max, still this one as my daily iOS driver. So 10s Max, and then um, also I have the Pixel 3 XL, which I haven't really set up with my data on it. I'll be doing that in a few days. But actually, so I iPhone, 10s Max and then um, the No 9. I'm using those two right now. Which software do you use to edit your videos? That's Final Cut Pro 10. What do you think of the next iMac refresh? Uh, when do you think the next iMac refresh will happen? So I really think it's gonna happen on on Tuesday. Should happen on Tuesday. The the camera is really so the camera that I'm using right now is quite wide angle. Reason why I look a bit weird. <laughs> so yeah. Do you still have the copyright strike? No, I'll make a video on on the whole copyright strike situation maybe in two weeks or so. There's a lot of videos that I want to do right now, so I feel like that one's not really a priority. But no, the copyright strike got removed, so... Stereo, sound is not in stereo. Um, Ready? Oh, sorry about that. I don't think I can fix it. Yeah, I'm using I'm using a stereo mic, but I only have one mono channel selected. So let me just check the settings. Uh, ba -bum. Properties. Your audio is only on the left hand side. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Let me try and see if I can fix it. Um.
fault. Okay, I literally killed the audio one second there. I'm trying to fix the audio. So... Right, I don't think I can fix it. Usually I use... So I use a stereo mic to record all of my videos. But I only use a mono channel. And then... So I duplicate the mono channel. When I export the audio. Uh, and I cannot do this in OBS, which I'm using <laughs> to record, to stream this. Sorry guys, mono channel for this video. I'll fix it in the next stream. Uh, do you think Apple will change the MacBook lineup? Um, yeah, definitely. The MacBook Air lineup, if that's what you mean. Yeah, the MacBook Air hasn't been updated design-wise since 2010. Pricing for the new iPad Pro, I think it's going to be more expensive than... We don't really know the price yet, but it should be more expensive than the current generation. Uh, the music is coming. Yeah, so, sorry about the mono sound, guys. I'll fix it in the next live stream. Best phone of 2018. Um, I don't know. It, it, it depends. So every single phone released in 2018 has ups and downs. Let me try and fix. So, for example, the Note 9 gives you the most amount of features. You get Yes Pen. I have a bunch of phones right here. The Note 9 gives you the most amount of features. But then you don't really get updates day one. So the Pixel 3 XL is this one right here. This one would be the closest Android phone to, uh, to an iPhone. So you get day one updates. It's really fluid, fast. Camera's great. Uh, but then you're missing out on the features that a Note gives you. Speak a bit of Romanian. What do you want me to say? <laughs> no 9 or Pixel 3. Um... I think I would go with a Pixel, even though, so when I'm using a Pixel, I feel like I'm just using an iPhone. So I'm not really getting anything that's different. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I think I do prefer the, uh, the Note. Pixel 3 or Note 9, <laughs> long term. I would go with the Note 9. So I, I, I would honestly go with the Note 9. You get more features. It's, it's overall a much more complex phone. You get more for your money. Yes, it is more expensive than the Pixel 3 XL, but the Pixel 3 XL still has quite a lot of issues. Like, for example, mine, by the way, guys, has a massive scratch. I'm not sure when this thing happened. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a massive, massive scratch, uh, which looks like a, you cannot really see it in the video. Uh, there you go. Basically, that one right there. Yeah, so... I think the audio is going... Um, it's blowing out a bit. OnePlus, yeah, the OnePlus 60 is going to be announced tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to feature it on the channel. Uh, <laughs> OnePlus doesn't love me enough to send me units, and it's not really a flagship phone. I mean, you get a flagship processor, flagship specs, but the camera isn't that great. I mean, the camera has always been an issue with uh, with OnePlus phones. Google sucks at their phone designs. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I have to agree. Let me show you guys all the, um, the Pixel phones. I'll be back in a second. back right so in terms of the design please focus right the camera's on focus uh, this is the pixel one which pretty much looks like an iPhone clone this one <laughs> this one had one of the worst designs on any phones I mean it has massive bezels but you don't have a home button so and then you also had a um, you know the navigation bar which took so pretty much all this bottom portion of the display was unusable. That's what I'm saying. So really bad design. And then Pixel 2 XL, an improved design, but still really thick bezels. This this thing came out last year in 2017. And even the even the Samsung Galaxy S8, which came out in March, um, even that one had a better and more modern design than this phone that came out in, I think it was October. So it was already outdated when it came out. And pretty much the same applies to the Pixel 3 XL. Hey, 
sexyman3100 then we'll be not gonna get a new iPhone until next year. Thanks for the tip. Thanks a lot for the tip. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you don't really need to get a 10s. I feel like... So, obviously, I get all the, you know, the new phones to show you guys, and I use them as well, obviously. Uh, I don't really keep all of them, but I get a lot. I get a few cents as well. iPhone 10 or iPhone 10 XR? Um, it really depends. So, size-wise, actually, I have both of them here. There we go. iPhone 10 XR and then iPhone 10. I actually have a bunch of phones on my desk just because I wanted to show you guys. So iPhone 10R versus iPhone 10. Um, well, the iPhone 10 is still a more premium phone. You know, you get an OLED display, you get stainless steel frame. So I would go with the iPhone 10. But then again, this one is cheaper. You get a better camera. You get, you know, better performance with the Apple A12. They have the same amount of RAM, three gigabytes. So yeah, it really depends. If you already have an iPhone XR, there's no need to upgrade. If you're thinking of which one to get, probably go with the XR. Galaxy S9 or XR? <laughs> Everyone's asking asking about the XR. Um, um, I don't know. Again, it depends on if you like the design of the S9. Probably the S9. But then again, the, there's a price difference between the two. Oh, well, the comments are going so quick. <laughs> Uh, which one is speedier, iPhone 10 or iPhone 10R? iPhone 10R is faster. Yeah, definitely. You have the Apple A12 processor. Should I upgrade from 6S to 10R? Um, yeah. Yeah. Check out check out the video that I've done yesterday. I mean, yesterday, two days ago, on the 10R. Can you say anything in Romanian, please? Um, which exact just a Zeke scene check. <laughs> Will you visit Romania, Bucharest soon? Um, I've only seen Bucharest once, to be honest. What do you think about George Buchnic? <laughs> um, so George Buchnic, he's the biggest tech reviewer in Romania. Uh, I don't really watch his stuff, to be honest. So I'm aware of him, but I don't really watch his stuff. You think the iPad Pro would cost less than a thousand dollars? It should. Yeah, it should. It should. It should definitely. I mean, the biggest, the biggest change would be. Not really the design, but if it does support a USB Type-C port, so if Lightning is replaced by a USB Type-C, then you could connect monitors to this and docks, and that's a huge, huge upgrade. That's even bigger than the design change. Which live stream software do you use? I use OBS right now. How's the audio in the background, by the way, and the microphone? If you want me to, the camera's a bit shaky, I know. I'm using a, I'm using an IKEA desk, so whenever I'm... This, this wobbles like crazy. I mean, take a look at that. So, yeah, I have my... I'm using my 2018 MacBook Pro to stream, and I have it on a box. You think the AirPods 2 is coming? Uh, yeah. Cheers from Hungary. Have you ever been to Hungary? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, I'm, trans I'm, I'm from Transylvania myself, so there's quite a few Hungarians in my hometown, and I know a few words. Uh, do you think Apple will unveil the second generation AirPods at the Apple at the iPad event? Maybe, could be, possibly. These have actually been um, these have actually been leaked in the in the Apple in the Apple ad in the September iPhone event. I'm trying to read all the comments. I am trying to answer to a question and then I read multiple. Uh, comments from you guys and what do you think of a different answer. What do you think of, of the MacBook Air, the new MacBook Air? Well, so they haven't updated the design since 2010, so that's eight years. A new design should be coming. Uh, we'll see at the Apple event. Check out my, so about two weeks ago, I think, two, three weeks ago, I've done a video on everything to expect from the Apple event, so you can check out that video. So that, that's pretty much everything we expect. The iPad Pro is definitely coming. Uh, a video on that tomorrow, by the way. Covering all the latest leaks. Which country did you spend your last vacation? That was actually Greece. So I went to Greece in June. Yeah, I've been to Corfu. And then Skiatos last year. Greece is amazing. Like, honestly, guys, you should go to Greece. It's such a beautiful place. Yeah, but by the way, guys, um, 
follow me on Instagram. Like, honestly, everyone, go to Zone of Tech, uh, Instagram.com slash Zone of Tech. Look for me there. And I'm trying to redo the whole Instagram. So I'm trying to post more behind the scenes shots and more, you know, really nice looking images. So yeah, follow me there if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff. Instagram.com slash Zone of Tech. Have you ever been to Italy? Uh, yeah, I've been to Rome back in 2009. So yeah, quite a few years ago. When are you coming to Dubai? I don't know. I, I do want to go to Dubai. I feel like Dubai is the top of, on the top of my list of places that I want to go. I feel like I don't, I don't deserve it yet, if you know what I mean. So I know. I, I, I want to plan the Dubai visit to to a special day or something. So I want, I want to keep it for a special event. Uh, tell us about a Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So I, I don't have the phone. I don't really have the phone. I'll get in touch to, I'll get in touch with Huawei and I just asked him. Do you get recognized outside? Uh, yeah, I've seen you <laughs> while I was out shopping. Maybe, yeah, I do get recognized, yeah. Mostly at the Apple store, like every time I go to an Apple store. There's either the employees that recognize me or it is pretty weird. I have to say it is pretty weird. Uh, will the SE2 be coming? Could be. Yeah, the iPhone, the iPhone SE2 is, is a strange one because uh, when are we going to cover the, are we going to be covering the OnePlus 6T event? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. So the thing with OnePlus is Hey, thanks, uh, Jalen Holt. Thanks for the tip. Right, so the, the thing with OnePlus is I actually have, let me show you guys. I'll be back in a second. Back. So what do we have here? OnePlus 6T, joking, this is the 5T in black, and the 5T in the super limited edition white. Now, <laughs> OnePlus didn't send those over. I bought the black one myself and I got this from a different company. So, yeah, the thing with OnePlus is, I've been in touch with them when, you know, they released the first OnePlus and at that time, they sent me some invites, and they also sent me the OnePlus 2 back in the day. And my review on the OnePlus 2 was a bit more negative than my previous reviews. As in, I, I was talking about the fact that it doesn't have NFC, the fact that um, the CPU was underclocked, the camera wasn't that great, so that phone had a lot of negatives, a lot of, downsi a lot of downsides. And um, yeah, OnePlus didn't like the review, and they blacklisted me. So, yeah, they stopped sending me anything. So, yeah, also they ignore <laughs> all of my emails. And so, yeah, that's why I don't really want to cover OnePlus anymore because it's not really a flagship smartphone. So you get flagship specs, but you don't get the flagship camera. So I wouldn't be using it myself. Voice crack. iPhone 10 or Gal uh, Galaxy Note 9. Check your Instagram. I'm checking my Instagram. So yeah, guys, if you're not follow, following me on Instagram, go to instagram.com slash zone of tech. And, um, oh, hey, Apple word. Keep crushing it. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the tip. Red Bull, sponsored by Red Bull all the time. I drink a lot of Red Bulls. By a lot, I mean about two a day, something like that. Apple has the world's best trackpads on laptops. Yep, definitely. And the best speakers. So actually my favorite laptop right now, I don't have it with me right now because it's at my home, um, but I'm actually using a Surface Pro 6. And I love that thing. I don't have it right now. Colab. Yeah, yeah. I'm up to any collabs. To be honest, air power. We'll see. 
How many hours do you sleep? Um, depends. Really depends. Six, about six. Why are iPhones more expensive than than iPad Pros? iPhones are, yeah, yeah. So it's weird because everyone's saying that sound is terrible. Really, is it? Sorry, let me just decrease the microphone volume and the music a bit, so it should be a bit better now. So why are iPhones so expensive? Um, you know, something weird about Apple is that everyone's saying that iPhones, I mean, Apple products are overpriced and that's true, but it doesn't really apply to every single Apple product. So what, what's strange is that iPhones are really expensive, like overpriced. But then if you take a look at, if you take a look at the iMac Pro, for example, the iMac Pro is actually cheaper than, it's less expensive than if you were to make, to build an, an iMac Pro yourself with PC parts, that's what I mean. So the iMac Pro is actually underpriced. The iPhones are overpriced. So yeah, Apple's adjusting their prices based on what sells the best and what doesn't sell that well. Like, you know, pro machines and expensive, expensive machines, they uh, actually keep the cost as low as possible. Is the iPad mini lineup dead? Um, so there might be an iPad mini coming out at the event. What fo football team do you support? I don't really watch football. I don't really care about football. No, I haven't seen, fun fact guys, I've never seen a, a full football game in my life. I've never watched one from beginning to end. So, yeah. That's strange because in Romania everyone's like, obsessed with football. Have you ever tried a Poco phone? Uh, no, I haven't. What MacBook do I choose? 13 inch or 15 inch? It depends. It really depends. If you need that extra performance, you know, if you need six core processors instead of quad core, or quad core instead of dual core if you're going from previous generation, and the dedicated GPU than 15 inch. I would say that a 15 inch is worth it, is worth more than, than a 13 inch. Do you think Huawei is gonna pass Samsung? Um, yeah, I think so. What will happen with AirPods 2? They should be announced pretty soon, maybe even at the Apple event on, on Tuesday. Do you play any online video games? No. No, I don't. Oh, actually, sorry. Um, Fortnite, I, I, I don't really play it that much. I mean, as in, I haven't played it in a month. But, yeah, I play a few games now and then with my friends. Should I get a gold or space gray 10s max? Say something in Romanian. I'm not sure what to say. Mo most of the people in the chat are English speakers, so. Can I exactly what I say? Okay, I'm going to say Should I go for an iPhone 8 Plus or iPhone 10R? T Series or PewDiePie? Uh, PewDiePie? Oh no. It's funny because, take a look at this T Series. Go ahead. <laughs> if you say T Series, T Series. Yeah, so if you say T, series, it activates Siri. What phone is in your pocket? Uh, mostly the iPhone XS Max. So on the Android side, I'm still using my Note 9. I haven't really fully set up my Pixel 3. You didn't answer my question. Uh, I didn't really see your question. There's a lot of comments in the chat. So... Will you do a, a comparison of iOS and Android? Um. Yeah, yeah, th that's gonna be a long video, or even a series of videos. Do you use Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro? Final Cut Pro all the way. Yeah, so I, I do use Photoshop for all the thumbnails. Um, it's really glitchy. <laughs> I tried switching to uh, Affinity Photo. I've used that on the iPad Pro because obviously we don't have Photoshop on the iPad Pro, but that's coming out, that should be coming out in a few, uh, few weeks or months how to start a youtube channel you just you know create an account <laughs> and there you go you have a youtube channel hey, i love your videos thank you any giveaways soon um so i've done the giveaway with mouse the iphone cases if you haven't entered in that giveaway it ends i think that's next week yeah it should end next week yeah, yeah. so uh Go on my Instagram, leave a comment on the mouse cases picture, and you have a chance to win a pretty cool case. Some of them are even $100. 
Uh, in terms of the next giveaway, I'm not really sure. What's your internet speed? So, right now, I have about 250 megabits per second, so that's quite fast. Any thoughts on the upcoming Galaxy S10? I'll make a few videos on that, in terms of my actual thoughts right now. I don't think it's going to be fully bezel-less. We're still going to have some bezels on the top and bottom. Thinner than the S9, but not fully bezel-less. And fingerprint reader, integrated into the display. Should I get the 2018 13-inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar? Traveling and doing schoolwork? Yep. You probably don't need a touch bar, to be honest. So you could go ahead and get the standard one, but just wait for some newer ones to be released. Daniel has super fast Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah. Luck they do. When are they remodeling the MacBook Pro like up? You mean the MacBook Air? Or you mean the design of the MacBook Pro? So the previous previous design came out in 20, 2012. So that's 2012, 2016. So it's about four years. And then 2008 was the previous design. So about every four years, we get a new MacBook design, which means that we should see a new one in about 2020, around 2020. Video about Mi Mix 3. I'll try and get my hands on it. iPhone XR or so iPhone XS Max. Um, iPhone XR. Did you get the Apple Strike issue released? Oh, sorry, fixed. Uh, yes, it's fixed now. I'll do a video. I'll do an updated video on this, but... Uh, how tall are you? How tall do you guys think I am? Yeah, everyone comment. How, how tall do you guys think I am? And then... Um, I'm gonna say who got it closest. So yeah, everyone. It, please say that in centimeters, because I'm not really sure about it. feet and inches. My Wi-Fi speed is three megabits per second, which is, yeah. Yeah, that is quite slow. <laughs> that sucks, yeah. I mean, 5'9", 5'8", 175. A. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so someone got really close. Okay, someone got really close. So... Lavish D, you won. I'm 5'8". I'm 174 centimeters. And A Moog won as well. 174. 75% human, 25% <laughs> beast. Yeah, you got it as well. So yeah, that's my height. Average height, guys. Why do I have no audio in my right here? Because... I messed up. Sorry about that. I'll fix it in the in the next live stream. What do you think about a new iPad Pro? Video on that coming tomorrow. Um, well, like I said, the new the design changes is obviously the main noticeable difference uh, and upgrade from the previous generation. Are you paid to speak? I wish. <laughs> um, but the biggest change would actually be the USB Type C ports because you could actually connect. If Apple does upgrade to USB Type-C, if they ditch Lightning, then you could connect multiple 4K monitors and basically use the iPad Pro as, you know, a proper computer. So, iPhone or Pixel? Um, again, it really depends. It really, really depends. The prices are a bit more similar. If you're talking about Pixel 3 or iPhone XR, uh, the iPhone XR is actually cheaper and also better overall, as in better performance. Larger display. Why do we need a refreshed MacBook Air if we have the 12-inch MacBook? Well, that's the thing we don't. The MacBook Air should be removed. It doesn't make any sense right now. Yeah, it is weird because right now we have, you know, we have the 12-inch MacBook which is called MacBook. So a few years ago when Steve Jobs was still alive back in around 2010, we had three MacBooks. So we had the entry-level MacBook, which is like in the middle. And then we had the MacBook Air, which was cheaper and thinner. And then we had the MacBook Pro, which was thicker than the MacBook, but more powerful. So everything made sense. But now the MacBook, the one that should be in the middle, that's, uh, that's more expensive and thinner than the Air which doesn't make sense. iPad mini 5. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the iPad mini 5 because 
So we haven't we haven't really had any reports on the iPad Mini 5 since you know the fourth one was released back in 2014. Sorry, 2015. Exclusive icon found. Yeah, I, I've seen that. Why don't you use a 2 by one aspect ratio? Okay, so let me guys ask you something. Let me ask you something. Um, how many of you use a modern smartphone? As in something with a really, really wide display. 18.5 by 9, so S9, iPhone 10, S8. How many of you? Just leave a comment, tell me what phone do you use. And if a lot of you use widescreen... Uh, Smartphones. Then I might switch to two by one. I mean, 75, I think it's about 75% of you actually watch my videos on smartphones. So, you know, it would make a lot of sense for me to do uh, two by one videos. What did you eat today? Um, two Red Bulls and french fries for breakfast yeah don't judge me iphone 8 plus nexus 5 oh nexus 5 good nice gotta love the nexus days r.i.p apple a12 is comparable to i7 okay so Something interesting is that if you guys have an iPhone XS with the Apple 12 chip or even favorite Red Bull flavor. So there is one called Blueberry Red Bull, which I've only I've only seen it in Romania, to be honest. So it's pretty rare. Hopefully it's a genuine Red Bull, but that's that's by far the best. So I was talking about the Apple 12 chip. Um, so something interesting about the Apple 12 is that if you have an iPhone XS or iPhone XR, Performance-wise, single core-wise, it's actually more powerful than the uh, i7-7920HQ processor, which is the top-of-the-line one in the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. And that's also the flagship uh, laptop processor from Intel. And that's crazy. I know that it's a different architecture, but the fact that mobile processors today can reach a similar amount of performance for every core compared to Intel's laptop processor, that's insane. So yeah, in a few years. Yeah, in a few years, Intel might be uh, Intel might be gone. It, it's, it's funny because Intel has been working on their 10 nanometer process for, I don't know how many years now. So I've been to Intel in 2013, I think. That was the first time I've been to their offices. 2013, 2014, around that time. So about four years ago. So I've been to their offices and I actually had an early look at Cannon Lake, which still isn't out yet. And that was a 10 nanometer process. Yeah, so the Cannon Lake architecture isn't out yet. So that's funny. And then uh, four years later, they haven't released it yet. Michael Lo Lozito. What do you think about Samsung making a foldable? Thanks for a tip. What do you think about Samsung making a foldable smartphone? So that would be the Galaxy X, the Galaxy F foldable. We made a, vid a few videos on that. So <laughs> do check those out. But essentially, Samsung has been working on flexible displays since 2011. So for seven years, for the past seven years, which is insane. And they haven't released a phone with the flexible display yet. The audio has crashed, really? Uh, is the audio still working? I think it is. I can see it on my side that it is working. Yeah, there's a delay. So there's a delay of about 30 seconds. That's why I'm literally waiting for for your comments. What sports do you play? Um, that's funny questions. I don't really play any sports. You could probably tell. Audio works, right. Please change the background color to white again. Hey Google, light's blue.
Hey Google, shut up. Just there we go. The lights are now blue. Hey Google, lights white. You know, it's funny because I have um, three Google Homes in the office and whenever I say something, they all activate. Great. Just wondering, uh, is it worth switching to a cheap, from a cheap phone to the XS Max? Well, it depends on what you use your phone for. If you care about, so if you care about taking photos a lot, then yeah, the camera is definitely worth it. It also depends on what phone you're switching from. Any Logic Pro 10 use? Um, in what way? So I only use Logic Pro 10 to uh, record the audio. Give me a shout out. It says DSRF Entertainment. You just got your, your shout out. What are the, bliss, the best places to visit in London? Um, Hyde Park and then Hyde Park is amazing. And then uh, Canary Wharf is insane. Those are my favorite. And then, you know, the standard ones. Are you going to bring the pucks to the UK? <laughs> uh, no, probably not. No. Please play the background music of from your videos. I don't really have it here on the stream. A, do you know Talos of Tech and Front Page Tech? I know John from Front... I mean, I don't know him personally. I've only talked to him a few times. Uh, and again, I know Talos of Tech channel, but we haven't really talked. So. You need to start talking facts about Apple and appreciate its greatness. Hmm? Have you tried a phone from Chinese brands such as Xiaomi, Huawei, Oppo, Vivo? Um, not really. No. You know, I, I want to try doing that. Definitely. Should I get a 2018 13-inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar for traveling and doing schoolwork? Um, I think I've answered that before. But essentially, I, I would say for schoolwork, there's no need to get the touch bar model so you can get the entry-level Pro. But honestly, just wait for uh, just wait for the new model to release. Do you know Marquez? Um, not, I've only talked to Marquez a few times. No, I, I've never met Marquez. No. Uh, bye. Also, give me a shout out. Do you know D? Kind of. I mean, I've only talked to him a few times and. Is Zone of Tech News dead? Oh, people remember Zone of Tech News. So, yes and no. The, the problem with Zone of Tech News is that initially I was I scheduled it for every Friday or every Saturday so that I could cover all the main news that happened, you know, over the past week. Now, the problem with this is that a lot of stuff gets released on Fridays and Saturdays. So every time I had to, you know, move it or postpone it, because, you know, a new iPhone came out, a new Galaxy phone, and then camera comparisons, which those take a few days to make. So, yeah, it's a bit difficult scheduling a series every week in the same day because, you know, stuff can happen and stuff can get released. So I do want to bring it back. But... Do you know Unbox Therapy? No, never talked to Lou. And I never met him. But obviously, I, I do watch his videos, yeah. And KBHD has great shirts. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about the shirts he wears in the videos or the shirts he sells? They're both pretty cool. Any plans on collabs? Uh, well, I'm okay. I'm up for any collabs, to be honest. Everyone's asking me about MKGBG. Apple Find X. Uh, yeah, I do know the phone. Never tried it. I do want to try it. Jump three times. I'm not going to jump. What mic and editing software are you using? It is great. So I'm actually using the Blue Yeti Pro microphone. And then in terms of the software, I'm using OBS to stream this. Do you know Jonathan Morrison? Not in person, no. I watch his videos, amazing quality. Is the AirPods 2 coming tomorrow? Not tomorrow, the event is on Tuesday. So that's two days. Mini minimum PC requirements for 4K video streaming. Um. I think every 
if you have a 7th generation or newer processor, you won't have any issues. Even on the lowest end processors, you, you won't have any issues streaming 4K content. Can iOS be installed <laughs> on an Android phone? <laughs> no. No, no. That's a good one. Apple A10X or Apple A12? Uh, the A10X, actually, so the one that's inside the iPad Pro, is still more powerful GPU-wise. Zenoftech merch, maybe, at some point. What do you guys want to see? Like, for example, if I released some Zenoftech merch, what would you want to see in terms of the products? Because I feel like t-shirts and, you know, shirts, I would actually do shirts. Uh, stuff that I'm wearing as well. I mean, similar ones, obviously. Cases. Yeah, so I do want to do something different in terms of Zenoftech merch. So maybe next year. It's not going to be just t-shirts. Yeah, I mean, t-shirts are okay, but I feel like, you know, it needs to be a bit more than that. Yeah, there you go. A good example. Yeah, that's something that I would do. Mugs, phone cases, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know. So whenever I'm doing something, I want to be fully involved. So I just don't want to, you know, speak to... A lot of merch companies got in touch with me. And most of them work like this. So you just upload the logo to their website and then they just print it to a t-shirt. I don't really like that because you don't really get any control on, you know, the fabric and <laughs> your face on the t-shirt. <laughs> there was actually this company that got in touch with me and uh, it was just a random t-shirt with my, my big face on it. And it was, it was really, really cringy. iPad Pro versus iPhone 10 Max performance wise, I'm guessing. iPad Pro wins GPU wise, CPU wise, iPhone 10 Max. How do I start a tech review channel? You just create an account and you upload tech videos. No, honestly, if you want to start your own tech channel, um, just start making videos on the stuff you already have. Because, yeah, it, it can get really expensive if you buy everything. So, yeah, just that, that's why I started. Made videos on things I already had. Everyone has a phone. It's <laughs> not like whoopee cushion. Yeah. <laughs> Your sound is turned to the left speaker. I know, I'll fix it. What football club do you support? Um... None. I don't really watch football. I'm not a football guy. Show us that cringy t-shirt. Um, I'll have to look it up in my emails. Talk about Samsung suit its own brand ambassador. Oh yeah, I've, I've read about that. <laughs> yeah. But was it Samsung? I don't remember if it was Samsung or someone else, a different company. Huawei. Video on the Mac Mini, definitely. If Apple does release a Mac Mini Pro, I'll make a video on that. I actually want to use that myself. Why is your stream so high in the rankings? Checking Gmail. Check Gmail now? What do you mean? Uh, high in the rankings in Huawei. What is your favorite movie? Inception's really good. And Interstellar. What is the price of the leaked iPad X? Uh, we don't really know the price yet, but it should be more expensive than the current generation. So I wouldn't be surprised if it starts at about seven something dollars. What are the iPhone? Where are the iPhone 10R Apple cases? Haven't been released yet. Check Instagram again. I'm checking Instagram. I'm not seeing anything different or special on Instagram. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what exactly you mean. When is the Apple event? That's uh, this Tuesday. Favorite song of 2018? There's enough tech background music. Adventures. This is the song, by the way. Adventures by A. Himitisu. It's basically in the description. If you go to the description, you'll find it. What's your favorite food? Um... Either pasta or pizza. I think pizza. Definitely pizza. Mozzarella. Uh, margarita pizza. Your thoughts on moment lens. I've never really used one. So I really want to try those out. In case you guys don't know about moment lenses. It, they're lenses that you attach to uh, your phone. Mostly iPhones. And you can get some really wide angles. Wide angle shots with those lenses. 
is your copyright issue over mostly so the strike has been removed i'll make an updated video i'll make an updated video on that <laughs> just not sure when yeah there's quite a few videos that i want to do next week in terms of the apple event so you know linus not personally i do watch his videos i think linus has an amazing channel and community Um, is the iPhone XR a good upgrade from the iPhone 8 Plus? Design-wise, it is. Display-wise, it's about the same display, to be honest. Um, I think I should have the iPhone. Oh, no, I don't have it anymore. I have a few phones on my desk, but... How long does it take to film a normal video? Uh, so, it takes about... 30 minutes to film my part, but then there's the device shots or the B-roll, which takes about three, four hours. It depends. And then I also need to do the research, script the videos, which takes about three hours more. And then obviously the editing. So yeah, there's a lot of hours behind every video that you guys see. Even, even the simpler videos like the Black Ops 4 <laughs> Collector's Edition unboxing. What about the AirPods 2? Um, so something interesting about the AirPods 2 is that in the iPhone XS TV ad, there was actually a pair. So there was a girl running and she said the Hey Cindy command. And her um, she was just using her headphones. So she had, she had AirPods in her ears and they activated. And the first generation AirPods, they don't support, uh, they don't support the Hey Cindy command. PewDiePie versus T series. PewDiePie. Definitely. How is RAM management on the iPhone XR? So it's weird because the iPhone XR feels. Let me just unlock this. So it does feel a bit slow. I don't know. It feels a bit. So take a look at this. Whenever I'm trying to open up an app, there is a bit of a delay. Do you see that on, on, on the touch? I don't know. It, it feels a bit. Not really laggy, but yeah, it, it feels a bit slow, so to say. I've yet to use the 10R as my main phone, so what is your daily phone? Um, 10S Max at the moment and the Note 9, and I'll switch to the Pixel 3 from the Note 9 pretty soon. Shall I buy the first generation AirPods or wait for the second gen? Wait for the second gen. Oh wow, 894 people watching. Wow, that's a lot. I haven't even realized <laughs> that so many of you are watching. Hey, good stream. I'm subscribed. Subscribed. Thank you. Oh, this is a good one. So Nicholas345 asks, will the will let me just scroll up. <laughs> I can't even read the questions, they go down so quickly. So will there be batteries in the Apple Pencil? Um I mean, not removable batteries, you won't be able to replace those, which is good, because, you know, you can just charge it easily. But the Apple Pencil 2 should support the W3 wireless chip. That's inside the uh, Apple Watch Series 4. So, theoretically, it should automatically pair with the iPad Pro, which means that the battery should drain far, far slower than it does now. Because right now, the Apple Pencil dies in about three days, two, three days. Depends on how much you use it. Has your membership count gone up? Let's see. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you want to become a member, um, if you guys want to become a member, just press the join button, you support the channel, and you get access to some pretty cool features. So for example, I cannot really change that now, but you get a badge in the, for example, let me scroll up, Sexy Man 3100 is a member. So he has a badge. And all the members get a badge as well. So let's see how many members do we have? Loading, loading. Hey, yeah, we have a few new members. Four new members from the stream. So yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Can I be, can I be a member? Yeah. 
you can always be a member. Just press the uh, the join button and then you can become a member. There's a monthly fee that you have to pay, which honestly I cannot really change. That That's the one that YouTube picks. Hey there, Connor. Yeah, so I, I cannot really change the um, the fee. Hey, there you go. Michael, Bo's mic. When is the iPhone SE 2 coming? That's a good question. So in terms of the iPhone SE 2, something strange was that it got leaked in so many in so many designs. So we had the first design, which was an iPhone, basically an iPhone SE design, but with updated specs. And then the second design was an iPhone 10 style design with an iPhone SE frame and back. And the third one was just an iPhone 10, but smaller. So, Yeah, I, I feel like Apple's not sure what to do with the iPhone SE 2 because even with the first generation, what was the main... I don't think even Apple was sure what was the main reason they've released the SE. Was it because it was a small form factor phone, which I think that's what they went for, or because it was cheap and affordable? Can you show your room? I'll do a setup tour. Yeah, I'll definitely start doing some proper setup setup tours. I want to do something very special when I hit 1 million subs. So uh, everyone, subscribe. I'm guessing you're all subscribers if you're in the, in the stream, but if you're not, definitely subscribe. And once we hit 1 million subs, I'll do something special. So definitely stay tuned for that. Did Apple intentionally stop the iPhone X uh, to sell more iPhone XRs? Um, yeah, could be, possibly. Mic broken. I'll fix it in the net. It's not broken, but it's only on the left uh, channel. Rip RIP mic. Weird mic noises. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Noise from mic. Static noise. Okay. How's, how's the audio now? I think I know what's happening. I'm just speaking way too loud. So let me just decrease the volume. You need to appreciate Apple for going eSIM. Yep, definitely. Apple going eSIM is a huge, huge deal. It actually is because it's gone now. Yep, fixed it. Cool. So an eSIM, eSIM comes from embedded SIM or electronic SIM. And the idea is, the idea is that the SIM is always embedded into the phone and you can't remove it. So the advantage is that, you know, if, if your phone gets stolen, uh, you can always track it. No one can remove the SIM, which is great. It will always have a cellular signal. Well, you know, if it can connect to cellular towers. The disadvantage is that it won't work in roaming. At least not, not at first. Hi, I have an Apple Watch Series 4 and using the Sport Band, but my arm is kind of sweaty. Any other bands that you recommend? The Sport Loop is amazing. Tell us about your mugging. Um, right, about the mugging. So... It happened in 20, 20, 2013, I think. Probably because he got covered. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so about a mugging, it happened a few years ago. I think it was 2013. Yeah, definitely 2013 when the iPhone 5S came out. And that was the first iPhone that I bought with my own money. So I was really, I know it was a pretty big achievement, so to say, for me. I was still a student back then. Um, and yeah, I, I was with a friend. I was, it, it was 3 p.m. And we were having a sandwich behind a student library. It was literally in the middle of the day. And then two guys came to us. Uh, and they asked for the time. And I didn't want to tell them the time because, you know, it was a bit... Something did fe feel off about this, this situation when they came over to us. Anyway. Yeah, so long story short is that they threatened us with a knife. Uh, we couldn't really see the knife, but the guy... One of the guys had something pointy in uh, in his pocket and yeah took our phones and then uh yeah the police pretty much didn't do anything so um uh, yeah that sucked and yeah i got my iphone 5s stolen and i still haven't bought some replacement 5s when can i pre-order the new ipads and how much will they cost so the event finishes the event is on on tuesday yeah the event is on tuesday and the pre-order should start on Friday, I'm guessing. Have you tried? <laughs> Tell us about your skin routine. 
your skin looks so perfect up uh, nothing really special about studio two. Just good shampoo rise of surface to studio 2 what's your view um so it comes with seven generation processors the surface studio 2 which is a bit strange i know i was expecting static noises again right let me just decrease the volume from the microphone right so the static noises should be gone now sound is crackling okay so it should be fixed now yeah should be fixed sorry about that yeah so the surface studio 2 processor wise it's you know sound generation it's a bit outdated still happening really not gone um right that's strange i wish i could hear i cannot really hear the stream myself still there it got worse really it might be from the audio jack it sounds like music is coming from the speakers and not from my headphones uh that's strange the microphone has a problem audio issues unplug your mic and replug right okay I'll, I'll just do that sorry about that guys it's gone much worse okay it's fixed okay cool is the iphone 10 good for gaming uh yeah i mean it's a 6.1 inch display it's actually better for gaming if you put it that way than the iphone 10s like three in terms of 3d graphics and performance the iphone 10r is the best iphone yet because you have the lowest resolution display uh, on an iPhone with an Apple A12 processor. Fixed, yeah. Thoughts on haptic touch compared to 3D touch. So... So on the iPhone 10R you don't have 3D touch, but when you press Remember the haptic engine that Apple introduced with the iPhone 7? You have the same thing with on the iPhone 10R, so you still have the haptic engine. And then when you press on, you know, icons, like, you know, on the display and so on, you get sort of like a haptic feedback. So it's it's similar to 3D Touch. I don't know, on a scale from 1 to 10, if 3D Touch is a 10 in terms of how, how well it feels and how uh, realistic it feels, this is about a 6. Yes, so it feels like a significantly worse version of 3D Touch. Pretty much. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream now. Can you play any video game in good quality on Mac Bootcamp? It depends on what Mac you have, but yeah, definitely. You can play a lot of you know, if you install Windows on a Mac, you can play all the PC, all the Windows games. In terms of performance, it really depends on what Mac you have. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it now. <laughs> the live stream. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video is going to be on the iPad X. So the iPad Pro third generation. Definitely stay tuned for that video. Uh, 1080p video, YouTube video on the iPhone XR. Um, yeah, so you can watch 1080p videos. Not really because the display is still sub... 1080p so you can select 1080p in YouTube on YouTube but it's still not going to be you know a 1080p video so it's going to be 720p at a higher bit rate that's pretty much what it is but yeah thank you for watching guys I think I'm going to end it now <laughs> yeah I'm going to do the next live stream uh next month in a month I'm trying to do one of these every month I think that's that's quite cool hey thanks Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to do the next one uh, at the end of next month, at, at the end of the, uh, November. Not yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep it going. Okay, I'm going to keep it going for uh, five more minutes. Okay, let's do five more minutes. Ask me the final questions. I'm going to end it. And then tomorrow... Definitely check out tomorrow's video. I'm going to do a video on the iPad X. So iPad X video coming tomorrow. And then Apple event on Tuesday and a few videos on that. 
Do you like the iPhone XR's design? Uh, yeah, it actually feels pretty good in the hands. So it feels, I would say it feels even better than an iPhone XS. It's not as slippery. What made you decide to do a YouTube channel? I was always into tech and it was initially, it was just a private collection of videos, so to say. Think of it as, I know, a Facebook album. That's the way I thought of it when I started this. And then it just grew. I kept on doing, I kept on doing videos and lots of you guys watched. Apple logo to light up on the iPhone. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. iPhone XR versus No9 versus Pixel 3. Um, no9 is the best in terms of features. Pixel 3 is the best in terms of fluidity on the Android side. And iPhone XR is the best in terms of the price and what you get iPadX versus MacBook Pro, definitely MacBook Pro. Should Apple buy Tesla? They should. They should buy a Tesla. Um, OnePlus 6T, best phone of 2018. <laughs> Scrolls back <laughs> to watch Fita's videos of Daniel. Uh, can you make a room tour video? Yeah, I'll be doing one. Are you a Samsung fanboy? I'm not really a fanboy of anything. I know that most of my videos are Apple related, but quite a lot of those, those videos are actually rants. And every single time I do a review, I cover a lot of the bad stuff. So I'm, I, I try to be as objective as possible. What about the iPhone XR's bezels? They're pretty thick. Bezels are pretty thick, yeah. Um, so if you're coming from an iPhone 8 or older, you know, definitely not an iPhone 10, then it, it's fine. It doesn't look that bad. Which country do you live in? UK. Which phone has the best camera right now? Um, so overall, I would actually say, check out my camera comparisons, but I would actually say that the iPhone XS has the best camera. The Pixel 3 has a really, really good camera, but low light wise, at the moment, night sight is not released yet. So in low light, the Note 9 is the best one. In terms of the video, the iPhone XS is the best one. Uh, the iPhone XR has the best portrait mode. So to be honest, in low light, the iPhone XR does have the best portrait mode. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. So yeah, thanks for joining. I'll do the next live stream in a month. So yeah, at the end of November. But yeah, definitely follow me. If you want to see more behind the scenes shots, I'm going to shamelessly plug my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Um, Instagram at Zone of Tech. And yeah, I'm trying to re redo the whole Instagram thing with behind the scenes shots. So yeah, you can follow me there if you want to see some behind the scenes shots. And uh, yeah, next video is tomorrow. Definitely stay tuned for that. And... Yeah, this has been pretty much it. Yeah, have a good day, guys. Yeah, have a good good day, good evening. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. And then at the Apple event, I'm not going to the Apple event. I'll just do a recap video, most likely. And then a video on everything that Apple announces. But yeah, thank you for watching. A next live stream in a month. And yeah, this has been pretty much it. So enough tech, signing out. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in, guys.